Anyways, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mikey and I'm a creative professional based out in San Diego, California. Just started doing my lifestyle vlogs last year, so welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we're actually doing something a little bit different. We are reviewing this massive sofa behind me or under me. This is by a company called Floyd and it is their deep down sectional sofa. I believe this is one of their new product lines because three months ago when I was ordering this, I could not find any information whatsoever online. There were no reviews, Reddit posts, YouTube videos, or even just comments on their Facebook or Instagram regarding owning this. So we kind of purchased it blindly in terms of any information we can get from real people. So I wanted to make this video in hopes that it would help you in case you are looking at this particular sofa. So again, this is from a company called Floyd based out in, I believe, Detroit. And I think they got popular with their platform bed. And through the years, I think they've released different products. In this video, we're gonna talk about a few things. One is the ordering process and pricing. Two is the delivery. Three is assembly. Four is the comfort and how it works in the space where we wanted it. And then five, just my overall thoughts and if it's worth the price. Okay, so pricing. I have my phone here just in case I need some details, but on their website right now, which it was the same when I ordered it, was $3,220 for this configuration. And this one is a two-seat configuration. It does seem like a lot, but when I was ordering it, there was a 20% off code and that brought down the price to about $2,500. And as I'm looking at this now, currently, they have a 30% off code. And that's the thing I noticed too with this company is that just to keep it really transparent, with you guys so you know what you're getting into if you are looking to purchase something from them is that for three months I've been checking kind of the shipping updates and I would periodically just just look at the website and so I always saw there was always a 20% off code and never went away and when I ordered it it was like last chance weekend only 20% off so I was like oh my god so I thought I had to buy it right away but it turns out it's one of those things where companies will kind of price their products a little bit higher because they know they're gonna put a promotion on it so it seems like you're getting a good deal I'd rather honest pricing than promotional gimmicks if, if that makes sense so anyways i bought it when it was 20 percent off and then like a couple weeks later it was like memorial day sale or i don't know i forget what holiday it was but it became 30 percent off so luckily enough i contacted customer service and they refunded me the 10 percent they were awesome enough to do that for you so that's great so ordering is pretty simple just there is a long lead time so just be mindful of that and then also the shipping process was a little bit weird for me i didn't really understand why the shipping was so high our shipping cost $380 and that seemed a little bit excessive to me. I understand furniture delivery is expensive. Usually for furniture delivery you have three tiers. One is just like doorstep delivery, two is in room, and then three is white glove service. And white glove service is they come, they put it in your room, take it out of the packaging, assemble it, and then throw the packaging away for you. I typically never do that because it's so expensive. So because this was $380, I assumed it was white glove. I assumed they would come and put it to my room at the very least. I guess it's a little bit my fault not reaching out to them asking what their shipping service entailed and if it was coming into the room or not so I'll take full responsibility for assuming versus asking um, mental note lesson learned but yeah for $380 they should be at least bringing it into your room which they didn't unfortunately so now let's talk about the delivery process if I'm gonna be straight up with you guys it was pretty terrible the information for it to get to us was fine the, the tracking everything was great but the delivery service team they literally just dropped the packages in front of our driveway the boxes were mangled i will say though both packaging had no structural support it was literally just thrown in a cardboard box i was scared some of the support beams might be broken in this but anyways before we get into it more let me roll the clip of when it was delivered so you guys can kind of see the mess that it was all right so they just delivered our couches and honestly it's kind of janky like, I don't know, not really uh, impressed with this. That's so bad. All right, so after a three month wait for this Floyd sectional, it comes filthy, not even wrapped. 
And so the second one is wrapped, which is strange. I don't know if they like gave us a floor sample. I'm like, look at this packaging. <laughs> And then also there's some concerning issues in quality, like to attach the actual cushions. It's kind of pretty freaking cheap, if I'm being real. Like our West Elm couch has similar attachments and I'll show you guys later, but it's a lot more sturdier than this. And then also I go, she's already on here, but like the threading here, like what? And this is like a, $3,000 sofa, but let's go ahead and get these cushions on here. All right, so as you can see from that, not the best first impressions. And for me, first impressions are sometimes really important. Luckily, spoiler alert, this couch is amazing and it's so comfortable and we're, we're really happy with it. But I just do have to point out that the delivery was a really bad experience, especially one, when you're paying so much for a couch and then two, when you paid almost $400 to get this delivered. Hopefully you guys have a, had really good experiences for other products and if you've ordered from them, please comment down below and let me know know that way we know this is kind of like a one-off so that way I can pin your comments so if people are curious about ordering from Floyd they know that this might be like a one-off experience in terms of shipping I also did reach out to them and sent them photos and videos and they reached out to me back asking for some more information and that they'll get back to me so we'll see how that goes I'm not trying to look for a replacement just because the stain is behind the couch and I feel like if you can't see it it's fine there's no structural damage that I'm aware of so I don't need a replacement and I just feel like that would be a waste of time and resources and we're happy with the couch so I'm just hoping maybe they can give us like a partial refund from the shipping or maybe even just a little store credit to to win our business back. So I would love to order from them again. So now let's talk about the assembly. <laughs> she, the dogs love this couch. They think it's so comfortable. They kind of like, even though they're only four pounds, they kind of sink in it too. So they just love that feeling of feeling enclosed. Oh, right, cool. You love it, huh? Okay, so yeah, the assembly. Hi, Hero, you wanna come in camera too? Come here. The other one wants to come. The next thing we're gonna talk about is the assembly and it was pretty straightforward. Like I said, it just came in a box so there was nothing really too hard to take out of. Like the cushions were already zipped up. In terms of just putting the sectionals together, there are big bottom metal clasps on one end and then the other end has just like little metal tiny legs and you kind of just push them together. I didn't hear any like clicks or anything. I thought I would. So far we've had this for I want to say almost a week now and we've been lounging on it and I haven't felt it move. So I think that is sturdy enough. And you basically just get two sectionals and you have these main cushions that you attach via this hardware clip. Hardware is not the best hardware. For this price of a sofa, I would have expected the elastic with the clamps to be a lot more durable. I don't know if that's really going to, in the long run, effect how the couch moves around. I'm, I'm not thinking it will because I don't both see this moving a lot, but it's just those attention to details that if you just spend a little bit more money on them, make a big difference in my opinion. Okay, so now let's talk about the quality and comfort of the couch. A lot of the cushions did have threading that we had to cut, so I don't know if you can see here. That's the only negative thing I could say about the quality, because otherwise this couch is so comfortable. Like, honestly, I'm a little pissed that we had the delivery experience we had, because I would be raving about this couch from the get-go. The main reason we ordered this couch was because of the depth of this. Like, I am not even leaning all the way back and there is still so much room in front of me. The depth of this couch is 45 inches. So me and my husband love to like, you know, watch movies and we're either laying opposite just to have a lot of room. This provides us so much room to just to lounge. Yeah, this couch is so comfortable. I highly recommend it if you guys are looking for something to sink down in, get cozy in, and just relax, unwind, watch a movie, play video games. Yeah, it's just nice to sink down into this after a long day's work and kind of just cuddle with the girls, cuddle with each other. It's been husband fight tested approved. <laughs> I've already slept on this after a fight, so I, I can attest that it's a good extra space to sleep on if 
you guys are in a quarrel. So in terms of maintenance, this couch is sort of a lived in look. It's not meant to look pristine without any wrinkles. It's going to look clumpy and lived in. Like when you sit down on it, it's gonna look clumpy when you get off it's not gonna look pristine. You do have to fluff it a little just to get it a little bit more presentable. I feel like when you are going with a more lived-in couch with cushions that aren't super firm, that's just kind of the nature of the game. So I do fluff it quite often, which I personally don't mind. I go, hey, come here. Sorry, she's like trying to dig for Narnia back there. And so yeah, that's something to think about if you're interested in this couch because it's not one of those things where you just get up and it looks good. You're gonna have to like, fluff the pillows a little and just make sure everything looks good. All right guys, so some final thoughts. Is this sofa worth it? And I'm gonna have to say yes, and it kind of pains me to say that because of how much shipping costs. When you really think about it, shipping is like a fraction of the total cost already of the couch. And so for me to say that this couch is worth it is a lot. Um, and I say that because it's very comfortable. It's exactly what we're looking for in terms of aesthetic, but also comfortability. And if I'm being really honest with you guys, I would trade the three-seater of this couch for the one that I have in my living room in a heartbeat because that is my biggest regret in terms of furniture for this house. So with that in mind, I am going to say this couch is worth the price and shipping. With that said though, if you guys have any more questions, feel free to comment down below. I will reply to all of them. Um, I know that furniture buying can be stressful, especially when you're paying so much for something and there's not a lot of reviews or people talking about it. It can be a scary buy. Furniture is very difficult to return, so I understand the stress that comes along with furniture shopping, so comment down below if you guys have any questions. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you can, try to choose happy over sad today, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, everyone.